Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Django Jax, and I got I freaking made it, guys. I am a big YouTuber now because I got people in the comments pretending to be me. So you, I guess that's how you know you've made it. So if if it's your first day on YouTube and you need to be told not to WhatsApp or Telegram random people in YouTube comments, this advice is for you. Don't be dumb, okay? So. Let's get right into the video, guys. I figured today I'd make a quick video about what I'm mining. And so I'll log into my Simple Mining. I'll show you guys what rigs I have on and what I'm doing. So let's get right into it. All right, guys, here's my SMOS dashboard here with the rigs I have on. And SMOS just stands for Simple Mining OS. So S-M-O-S, -S, SMOS. And the reason I like SMOS better than Hive is because I've been using SMOS for four years now. All right, and, just, and I, I hadn't even heard of Hive till about a year ago, maybe at the beginning of 2021, so uh, may, I guess almost two years ago now. And I've used them, and I think they're, I mean, I think they're good, and I, they're, you know, they're great and all, but I'm just not familiar with it. Every time I do stuff, I have to Google things, how to do this, or how to do that, and there's no reason to switch, because anything that you can do in Hive, you can also do in Smos, so. Uh, and, and Smos is actually cheaper, so. I mean, really, it's the price is negligible. I mean, it's a uh, SMOS is like a dollar a month cheaper per rig, and I mean, if you have 170 rigs, I mean, I'm saving 170 dollars a month by being on SMOS. So unless you have like a ridiculous amount of rigs like I do, then there's really no reason. Um, I think I do think that Hive is more like user friendly for beginners. Like if you've never used mining software like this before, um, I think that Hive is more uh, beginner friendly. And they also give you the three free rigs, you know, when you start out with. On SMOS, you don't get any free rigs. You, if you have one rig, you're paying for it. And so, I mean, I, if you're, I would recommend Hive if you're starting out. But, I mean, obviously I'm not sponsored by either one. I just like SMOS because, you know, I'm stuck in my ways here. But, yeah, let's, I got, so I can, you can see my group config, which is like the flight sheet on Hive. But my group config, I got 10 rigs right here running on my Flux which, you know, right there, I hover over, it'll tell me it's LOL, I have them on LOL miner, because I get that 10% efficiency boost. I need to try mining on uh, the Mini Z or whatever and just compare them, but um, yeah, you can see here, I'm getting about 65, 66 souls per 3070, um, pretty good. I mean, and I mean, I have that at uh, 134 watts, that's what I have it limited to. And so I, I, I'm still experimenting with guys. I haven't mined Flux very long, so I'm just kind of experimenting. So I got these 10 rigs mining Flux right here. And then everything else right here is all mining Ergo. And I actually, I think I, I like Ergo a lot. I think Ergo is like my favorite project right now, to be honest. But um, that's just my personal opinion. You know, obviously do your own research. But I mean, so... You can see right here my three cases, my Mystic cases with the 170HX cards. I got three 170HX cards rigs running right now, and they do about 380 mega hashes when the temps are lower. All right, so you see I'm getting like 350. Oh, look, there's a couple with 380 right there. GPU five and six are 380. But um, I have some broken fans in here. That's why, I like this one, I probably have two or three broken fans, and they're really overheating. The, these Mystic cases, the the fans that come with them they kind of suck because they break after only a couple months. But to be fair, I am running them at 100%. Okay, I'm running them at 100% and they break after about three months. And the fans I'm replacing them with, you know, they, they're 5,000 RPM fans. They're just from China. I'm paying like $6 a fan. And those fans are running seven, eight months still. And I haven't, I haven't had one failure on the new fans at all after eight months. And yeah, so I'm, I just go through and replace the broken fans with the new fans, um, but I'm running those ones at 100% too. You know, I'm running 100%. I don't even plug them into the fan controller because I, I don't want to control them. I want them to run at 100%. These 170HX cards are kind of uh, very interesting. So I'm gonna do a whole video on them. I'm gonna put a, you know, a card on every algorithm and we'll see, but they do pretty good on Ergo's algorithm. I don't even know how you say it, autocolos, I don't know. I need to watch a video and figure out how to pronounce that. But uh, yeah, there's the, the three, the three uh, 170 text cards, and that's at 210 watts, you can see here, maybe. Yeah, 210, limited at 210. 
And then all my Octo Miners are on Ergo, and these are all full of 3070s. And you see I'm getting about 159 mega hashes per card. And that's at 128 watts. So that's what I have them configured to. That's as much as I wanna give them because these three, like right here, right? I have three X12s on a single circuit. Every single one of these are in threes. And that puts the, the power load at, you know, over 80%, I think it's like 89% is what I'm running. So these are all unsafe. I need to, what I would like to do is get some X8s and do two X12s and one X8 on a circuit. And that way I'll be below the 80% mark. And then I can actually, you know, run some other algorithms on here, uh, you know, like Kapow, I'll, maybe I'll experiment with that. But uh, I mean, Ergo and Flux have been the most profitable for me right now. And so, I mean, uh, right now my rigs on Flux are profitable because I have these rigs running uh, at three cents as my power rate. So I have these over at uh, my mining cave and I'm paying here, let's see, I got this right here. Uh, yeah, 8.37, these three cents. I'm making a whopping 89 cents per day per rig. Wow, you know, a whole eight card rig making 90 cents basically. Let's see here, I'll pull up the calculator. Um, so I'm making, you know, that's eight dollars and ninety cents because I have ten rigs running times thirty. I'm making two hundred sixty-seven dollars a month for ten rigs, making two sixty-seven a month. Oh boy, you know, it's it's not much, but it's honest work, right? So two sixty-seven, that's what I'm making right there. And then on the octo miners, you know, down at the data center, I'm paying about eight cents per kilowatt. And so here I got twelve thirty seventies, eight cents per kilowatt. And I'm on Ergo, and I'm making negative 45 cents a day. So if you times 0.45 times, I think I have 15 rigs up, 675 a day that I'm losing, you know, times 30, 202 a day, right? So I'm making 247 minus 202. So I'm still making like 50 bucks, even though I'm mining at a loss on Ergo. So I'm still profitable, I'm still netting a profit you know, not much. I'm I'm really just spec mining. I'm not really mining for profitability. Um, but yeah, that's what I, I really want to stack my my bags. I'm the most bullish on Ergo, and I'm also bullish on Flux. I mean, you know, big surprise. I mean, that's what all the YouTubers are talking about, right? But I mean, obviously, do your own research. These are the ones I've researched the most. I uh, I'm really excited for the next run on these two projects. Um, you know, I'm not telling you to mine them, not telling you to do, you know, I'm telling you to do your own research basically. But th that's just what I, that's what my personal opinion is. You know, obviously I could be wrong and whatnot, but that's what, that's what I'm, li that's what I'm liking right now anyway. So I'm kind of just filling my bags um, and really getting myself familiar with the algorithm. I'm going to test other mining, miners out, right? I'm going to try Mini Z Miner. Next time I go down to the data center, I probably will throw a couple of these rigs right here uh, onto their own uh, circuit so I can try running Kapow, running a few Kapow miners, you know, get that Meow coin and Nyaxa. You know, I haven't really done a deep dive um, into anything. And I'm not trying to, I'm just kind of showing you what I'm mining, just because you guys have been asking about it. Um, you know, so. Yeah, if you're not subscribed, please consider it. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a bunch more videos. But I mean, so, and guys, the reason that I'm mining, you know, right now, right, you know, cause I, I, I'm kind of just spec mining, but it is because I have everything set up under a business. And I, if I just buy the crypto, if I just buy Flux, I can't write Flux off as an expense. All right, it's just literally straight in, it's just reported as income. Whereas if I mine Flux, I can write off the electricity and I actually get more flux per, because I don't have to pay as much in taxes, right? So it, it's, you know, you have to, that's stuff you have to consider. Um, you know, everyone's situation is different. Uh, I'm really lucky to be getting the three cent per kilowatt hour, honestly. Like that's, I know most people don't have that. Uh, I don't have that many rigs on it, 10 rigs. I'll take what I can get. Everything else is kind of, and, I got a bunch of other rigs that are just off right now. Hopefully I'll be able to turn them on soon. I, I might just start mining with everything at a loss uh, at the data center. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna wait till November for sure, but yeah, but, uh, 
thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, I'll catch you in the next video.